Was Kevin Hart caught cheating on his pregnant wife? I really hope not, he seems like such a good guy. But let's find out. When this apparent affair happened, it was while Kevin was in Miami. Video footage reveals the actor canoodling with a mysterious brunette in a Lexus at 5 a.m. outside of his hotel. I'm not gonna lie, that's not looking too good. Not many people are out and about at 5 a.m. if they're just hanging with a friend. A witness said it appeared the two were together for 20 minutes and they were getting pretty frisky. It was also discovered that the two had been partying in Miami for Hart's 30 38th birthday. So I mean, it is possible they're just friends? But the pictures seem to say otherwise. Unfortunately, if this is the case, then history may be repeating itself. Kevin's first wife, Tori Hart, said that the reason their marriage didn't work out was because he was cheating. She even claimed that Kevin's current wife, Aniko, was his mistress at the time. I'm sure time will tell. But let me know what you guys think down in comments. Do you think he would cheat on his wife or not? Hey guys, welcome back to LP. I'm Court McGinley. Thanks for joining me on this beautiful Thursday. As always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way, so let's get into it. Next. Okay, so yesterday I told you guys about how Disneyland released their drawings for their new Star Wars themed land. Well guess what, now Disney is creating a Toy Story land and adding some pretty insane rides. We were hoping this would happen, but now it's official, Toy Story land will be opening in the summer of 2018. Construction is already underway at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Orlando. With this expansion, visitors will be able to explore Andy's backyard and ride the two new themed attractions. One is called Slinky Dog Dash, which is a family style roller coaster, and the other is called Alien and Swirling Saucer, which is a ride inspired from the first Toy Story movie. I am so excited. You guys all know I love Disney. There will also be other major additions, including Superhero Universe, Pixar Pier, Disney Skyliner, and Tron Light Cycle Power Run. Amazing. Next, Charlie Guard has been granted US citizenship to fly to America for experimental treatment. This is huge. This decision was made by the US Congress. They hope it will oblige Great Ormond Street Hospital to release Charlie, so he can receive nucleoside therapy. A number of doctors are still against this and say that it's cruel to allow him to live any longer now that he's blind, deaf, and severely brain damaged. But Charlie's parents are remaining optimistic, and they insist that their child has his eyesight still. Though this upcoming test, his mom Connie has said, our gorgeous baby boy is still stable. We are at his bedside and feel satisfied that he's not suffering or in any pain. As Charlie's loving parents, we are doing the right thing for our son and exploring all treatment options. Charlie is one very strong baby boy. So far he survived three decisions to withdraw his ventilator. This little boy is really fighting. As I mentioned in a previous video, Charlie has a rare genetic disease, and he's being kept on life support at the children's hospital. Also at this time his parents are battling in court for the doctors to release their child from the hospital so they can accept other offers of treatment. But the doctors are saying that this is a lost cause. We will keep you guys up to date with this case. Next, a Scottish island is up for sale, but be warned it has a dark past. This 29 acre island is being sold for the low low price of 325,000 pounds. The reason this island is being sold for a cheap price is due to its eerie past. The island was home to a notorious lighthouse keeper, along with a few cottages, a harbour and pebble beach. This island is off the grid as it runs on power generated by a small wood turbine and solar panels. Another catch is that in order to get to this island, you will need to own your own boat or helicopter. And the lighthouse that's on the island is not included in the sale, but it's still going to be on the island. <laughs> but that might not be a bad thing after what I'm about to tell you. This little island made headlines back in the 1960s after relief lighthouse keeper, 64 year old Hugh Clark, was found dead after being shot in the head by the secretary of the local Royal National Lifeboat Institution. After this, a nationwide hunt was on for the shooter and he was found, arrested and then found guilty of murder. He was originally sentenced to hang. However, five days before he was due to be executed, the sentence was changed to life in prison. He later committed suicide. And they say to this day he haunts the island and all who live there. That's enough to have me not live there, you know that in the 325,000 pounds. Next, a new virus disguises itself as WhatsApp and films you for blackmail. Well, that's that's creepy. This new virus can actually discreetly film you. A malware known as Ghost CTRL has the potential to disguise itself as apps like WhatsApp and Pokemon Go. When users download these fake apps, they accidentally install the ability to access their phones. Then hackers are able to attain your camera, your web history, as well as the ability to intercept your texts. Okay, that's not good. This malware has already hit over 200,000 victims across 150 countries. That's insane. So just make sure you're really careful the next time you're downloading apps. If one on the Google Play Store doesn't have a star rating or reviews, then be cautious. Next, a drowning 
family was saved by an 80 person human chain. Now that is what I call teamwork. A casual vacation to Panama City Beach almost turned deadly for Roberta and her family. Roberta's whole family including her husband, mother, nephews and son went to the beach that day and they were enjoying the waters despite the yellow flag warning. After being in the water for a while, Roberta turned around and went back to shore but realized when she was there her family didn't follow her. She began to walk along the beach and looked out to the ocean after hearing her family members screaming. They were stuck in the strong tides and they couldn't get back to shore. Without thinking, Roberta jumped back into the water to try and save her family. But then she got caught up in the tide as well. Then all nine of them were stuck in 15 feet of water. Beachgoers began to notice something was wrong and began to swim towards the family. And that's when they formed a human chain back to shore. One of the beachgoers was a really good swimmer and knew that he could get out there and get them. The human chain grew to as many as 80 people covering more than 100 yards. People who were good swimmers would grab the family members and help them make it to the human chain so they could be pulled back onto shore. That's absolutely amazing. About this, Roberta said, I am so grateful. These people were God's angels that were in the right place at the right time. I owe my life and my family's lives to them. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Well, there you guys go. That's all the stories I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you tomorrow.